All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodas, and the water Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the spirit of truth in these last days. As always, the honors to my apostles, elders of Great Millstone, that taught me this truth and do it well. Broke thumb. And as always, salutations to the Zakwanian Wa Achim, which is the elders and the brothers standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh, Wa Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity, and Shalom to the predestined elect. All right, I'm my fellow servant Quan from GMS 10 Bay 12 to camp out here in Temple, Florida, heart of Babylon and belly of the beast. With another lesson, I pray this lesson is edifying to the elect. All right, so yeah, um, you know, just want to do a quick lesson concerning um, Esau Edom is pretty much um, it's being exposed. All right, and um, any, if, if you don't know anything about the elites, all right, uh, so-called white man, Esau Edom, all right, the old serpent, all right, the devil, which is also called Satan in the Bible, all right, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, Okay, the so-called white man, okay, one of his uh, greatest powers is uh, uh, pretty much uh, secrecy, man, all right? And now that he's being exposed, all right, uh, that's one of the greatest weakness uh, points, all right, to penetrate this devil, man, is being exposed. And that's why, matter of fact, let's get something real quick in the, in, uh, the New Testament. Because, see, you know, a lot of people don't really understand that the so-called white man, Esau Edom, all right, when we say he afraid, they just think we saying that. The so-called white man, Esau Edom, is, is afraid, man. Why is he afraid? Because his greatest power, all right, okay, was to keep you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans asleep. But now that you're waking up to the fact that you're uh, the Hebrew Israelites, the biblical people, all right, the biblical uh, Israelites, that the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, have chosen and made a peculiar people, a special people unto himself. Now that you know that, now you're gaining power. And, and, and what happens when one uh, people get a power and another, another people lose power? The kingdom starts to get translated. So now we're seeing the downfall and destruction of the so-called white man Esau Edom spiritually, all right? And now it's happening physically because it's already been happening spiritually, man. It's been written, all right, in a restoration, all right, of uh, Israel, man, uh, uh, being uplifted on the right-hand side by the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, dealing with his elect first and foremost, man. And there's nobody that can stop that, thus said the prophecies. So let's get this real quick in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse, uh, and this is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I just want to prophesy. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, in verse, um, we're going to start at verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the work working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, right, man? And what? The scriptures say the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. So the earth is given into the hands of the so-called white man. And then it said, with signs, why? Because what he has is Project Blue Beam, all right? He has certain devices that set up to ultimately deceive two thirds of our people and ultimately the whole world, okay? And those signs are going to be shown when he ultimately throw up an a, 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 a image of a Cesare Borgia, which is Jesus Christ, with, by this Project Blue Beam, all right? And then lying wonders, why? Because a, a, a wonder is that RFID chip. And he's going to put it on the uh, on the he's going to put it on the forefront as if it's uh, something that's beneficial to you. Well, ultimately the RFID chip, all right, is going to lead to your destruction. And whoever take that RFID chip, which is the mark mark of the beast in the uh, scriptures, you're going to be uh, uh, led to your destruction, man. And that's going to be the will of the heavenly Father, man. You see, like Elder Apostle uh, Gabar said in one of his last videos on the face of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the clouds, all right, he said when the twin towers went up, it was a video he had, okay, that he uh, roughly lost over the years. He said, but he's seen Yahweh Shai sitting on the throne, all right, with lions around him. And he said the, the face of Yahweh Shai was a savoring face as if that was a sacrifice, all right, of 3,000 souls in the Twin Towers, man. You see? So it was a, it was a, it was a sign that what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is with this, man. He's with the death and destruction that's getting ready to take place here on the planet Earth. Matter of fact, Isaiah the 34 chapter says America, which is Babylon the Great, all right, is a sacrifice, man. You see? So uh, verse 10, it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, right? Because what? He deceived the whole world to believe that the Most High and His only begotten Son are so-called white men. It's a great delusion. He, de he deceived the whole world to believe that uh, the angels are so-called white men, man. Babies flying around, you know, shooting little Cupid uh, 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 arrows at uh, people, man. That's deceiving, man. That's blasphemy, you see? of unrighteousness. Why? Because the scripture says in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, the spirit in him is not upright. All right? It says, um, and them that perish, right? Because Esau eat them. The scripture says he shall be wasted away. The scripture says he shall perish as his own dung, man. Just like when you take a shit and you flush it down the toilet. That's how the kingdom of Esau, uh, of Esau eat them is going down, man. 
Like some shit you flush down the toilet. That's how quick the Heavenly Father, how about some stuff to get ready to flush this place down, man. You see? It says, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, right? And that's two-thirds of our people, man. You got deceived. Because you receive not the love of the truth. What's the love of the truth is what? Out, us out here prophesying. The scripture saying in the book of Proverbs, the first chapter, wisdom cried out in the streets, man. She uttered her voice in a tea place of conquerors. But what? In that same chapter says, why? Because you have not, you have not, uh, 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 taking hold of his counsel, therefore the heavenly father, the Alpha Messiah, is, is not is not going to be with you in that time, man. Because you have not called, I'm sorry. Because when he called, you have refused. Therefore, when you when you mourn for your uh, when your uh, uh, your mourning, guess what? The Lord says he's going to mock when your fear come, man. You see, and a lot of fear is getting ready to be shown out here in these last days, man. And this is according to the prophecies, all right. But that's it on that. Let's go to Job. This is the icing on the cake. Job chapter 15. We're going to start at verse. Um, 17 i will show thee hear me and that which i have seen i will declare right and what we have seen these things man because we're the prophets the scriptures say before we were called prophets we were called seers man so we can actually see the destruction of babylon the great according to the prophecies man you see and it says come hear me man because the scriptures say faith come by hearing so in order for you so-called negroes latino native american indians to get built up in the faith you got to hear and the only way you can hear is by a teacher. And how shall you know the name of Yahweh Basham Shah if nobody have taught you that, man? Understandest thou what thou readest? It says, I will show thee, Job 15 and 17, I will show thee, hear me, in that which I have seen, I will declare, which wise men have told from their fathers and have not hid it. See, well, ain't no son of the gospel, man. Like Apostle Paul said, uh, like Apostle Paul said, man, I have not shunned the gospel, man. You see? But I have made known to you uh, 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 of, the, of the ministry, man, roughly to say. You see? So we're we not, we not putting away uh, uh, the so-called white man Esau eating, which is the uh, devil that the Bible speaks of. We're not shunning away from the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. We're not shunning away from Jacob's trouble. You see? We're not shunning away from the hour of temptation. We're not shunning away from the, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the thermonuclear missiles getting ready to drop on America. Ultimately across certain, state, uh, certain uh, 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 countries, but chiefly Babylon the Great, which is America. To, to annihilate all 50 states, man, making this uh, uh, the greatest Sodom and Gomorrah, thus said the scriptures. All right. Job 15, verse 18, which wise men have told from their fathers and have not hid it, unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed among them. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days. Right. So the so-called white man. You see, this is why the elites, you don't know who the fuck the elites are, man. But guess what? The wicked, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, he's pelling in, uh, uh, he's travailing in a pain. You see, this is why is he in pain? Because he know that his destruction draweth not. He know that even though he ha he is wealthy, he's rich, all right, he's, uh, 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 he has an abundance, all right, of, uh, uh, of wealth, okay? All right, he control, all right, the, uh, uh, the masses of you people, all right? He has power to influence the whole world. Guess what? He's still travailing in pain because he know that uh, he know that he is Esau Edom, man. He know that his forefather sold his birthright, man. And he know that he he are his forefathers coming back for what judgment, man? You see? So you can only do but so much. All right? And this glory, the scripture say the fashion of the world passes the way. This glory is vanity, man. And that's in the book of Ecclesiastes, man. King Solomon was once the king over the whole earth, man. And he said, vanity is vanity. All things is vanity, man. You see? Job 15, verse 19. Unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed among them. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears, man. See? A dreadful sound is in these elite's ears. And that's why the elder from uh, GMS, the elder brother in GMS in Rome, Lions on Fire, he did a beautiful lesson. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think it was like six to nine minutes long. But it was titled pretty much, Baphomet is not answering your prayers, man. Baphomet is not answering these elite's prayers, man. You see? And that was a vision from his wife, man. You see? Okay, which we are the Israelites. Okay, we get the visions. Joel 2 and 28. See, and this is a time where the Spirit of the Lord is, is uh, uh, pouring out on us, man. We're able to stand here boldly in the face of our adversaries with no weapons. Why? Because the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, man. See? But what? Pretty much. Uh, matter of fact, let's read that again. I don't want to get off topic. It says, a dreadful sound is in his ears. Right, that dreadful sound is slavery, man. 
See, you so-called white people got nothing but captivity coming to you, man. The scripture saying Je uh, Jeremiah 30 and 16, and all those that led us into captivity shall go in captivity, man. And in Revelations 13 and 9, man. You see? This is the patience of the faith of the saints to watch and sit back and watch the movie of how boss me up shine and fold. And all we doing is prophesying, telling you your downfall and destruction, to giving you the breakdown, man. Telling you what really up, man. Telling you why uh, uh, Satan ain't answering your prayers. Why? Because Isaiah 47 says what? You shall stand now in the multitude of thy counselors and the multitude of thy stargazers and, and pronosticators, man. If they shall be able to uh, defend thee, man. All of them going to get consumed with the fire, man. Thus saith the scriptures. All your sorcerers, okay? All your astrologers, okay? Your monthly pronosticators, man. All, right, all these witches and warlocks, guess what? They all going to be destroyed. Thus saith the prophecies. And there's nothing you can do about that, man. You see, that's why you're going to want to come down with great wrath. But we know you got a short time. You know you got a short time. You see? But this is a beautiful time for us because this is the downfall and destruction appointed time of your kingdom, man. So you're through, nigga. All right? Jeremiah. I'm sorry, Jeremiah. <laughs> Spirit. Job uh, 15, verse 21. A dreadful sound is in his ears, right, man? Second as it's 13. This man getting ready to face uh, uh, your Howard Shine Angels, man. This man getting ready to uh, be appointed to his destruction in this World War III, man. When all these nations come up against him, thus saith the scriptures. And who's doing this? Yahweh Bashemi Al Shai. The scriptures say, Who have resisted his will? Nobody can resist the will of Yahweh Bashemi Al Shai. It says, In his prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him, man. And the so-called white man's prosperity in the peak of his rulership, in the peak of his kingdom, which when he make this uh, RFID chip, all right, the, uh, 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 the mark of the beast, okay, mandatory. Okay, according to his so-called one world government, one world order, one world religion, one world democracy, one world ruler. See, guess what? All this one world shit getting ready to be wiped off the planet Earth, man. Right? Because in your prosperity, the destroyer shall come. And who is the destroyer? Let's get that real quick. Let's get that real quick. Who is the destroyer, man? Let's get who the destroyer is. You see? This is our uh, revelations. get this real quick yeah kind of a call all y'all boss me out shy revelations revelations chapter 19 verse i'm gonna start at verse 12 Let's see what verse 11 say we're gonna close out on this because you through nigga kind revelations 19 and 11 and i saw heaven open and behold a white horse and that white horse is yeah is y'all shy all right, it says, and he that set upon him was called faithful and true. Who is that? Yahweh Shai, man. You see, these words are faithful and true, man. You see, he's the word of truth, man. He's the faithful servant of the, of the heavenly fathers, chiefly, man. You see, the only begotten son of the heavenly father, man, you know. And we are servants unto him, man. You see, it says, uh, and he that set upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. All right? Yahweh Shai is getting ready to judge you devils and make war with all you nations, man. All right? For all the iniquity and all the trespasses and all the unrighteous decrees that you have done and all the treacherously, uh, treacherousness that you have done to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You despise the poor. Therefore, your kingdom cannot be, uh, uh, your kingdom cannot flourish, man. You see? Because the earth, all right, is in, uh, is in mourning, man. Because the wicked is bearing rulership, man. But when the righteous are in authority, the people are going to mourn. The poor is going to mourn. I mean, um, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people are going to rejoice. The poor is going to rejoice. These nations are going to rejoice. That's what I meant to say. Salaki, slip of the tongue, you know. Verse 12, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, man. Many crowns. The Lord is going to take the, 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 Lord is going to take the rulership of all you fucking nations out here, man. You Elamites, you Ishmaelites, start with Esau, Edom. You Edomites, you Moabites, you Ammonites, you Elamites, you Ishmaelites, you Hamites. All you nations going down, man. Thus saith the prophecies. Ain't nobody fucking with the Lord. You're going to find that out when you when you scared and you just fight, man. All right? It says, And on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew himself. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of the Most High, man. It's the word of the Most High coming to pass. Swiftly and speedily, man. And all you nations going to feel the wrath of Yahweh Thus said the prophecies, man. And Esau, you finished. 
So like I said in, in the Job 15, in, the, in his prosperity, all right, in his prosperity, the destroyer shall come. You see? And the destroyer is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The eater of worlds, the destroyer of worlds, if you will, man. So-called Galactus, if you will, man, in Marvel. <laughs> you see? The God of God, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. You see? Which, matter of fact, that's really what I want, I want to get to. Let me get that real quick. All right? I just don't want to make this video too long. But let's get right to that. Revelations 19, verse 16. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, man. Yeah. That's all Lord and Savior Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, so-called black man that you so-called afraid of, man. That you really afraid of. All right? You shaking in your boots. You see? On your Toy Story shit. <laughs> you know, but hey, man, Lord's with us is edifying to the elect. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles, elders of great millstone, and taught me this truth and do it well. Salutations to this Kwani Wa Achim. Shalom to the elect.